Hi, I'm Jay Tyler. In this video, I'm going to talk about the transpalatal arch appliance, or the TPA. I'm going to talk about its design and function and some variations. I've also got a new product here I'm going to be putting on my website. That's ortholabvideos.com. This is a complete step-by-step, start-to-finish Essex retainer construction. Now, a lot of what I do is for beginners, and if you're a beginner and you need to know how to make an Essex retainer, this is what this was for. It's 47 minutes long. It's one disc. It's not on the website yet, but it will be. I do have the product. If you got to have it, contact me. Go to ortholabvideos.com. i got my contact information there. You can get a hold of me. So let's uh, go talk about the TPA. The transpalatal arch appliance is just a fixed appliance on the upper that is soldered to bands usually on the molars that goes across the arch, hence the name transpalatal, to the other side. And it can be something simple like just a, a wire. I usually use about an 036 that goes across and it's soldered. I have uh, this, this end I'm holding. I just have that here just so I can hold on to it and show you, but it would be soldered to both sides. Uh, it can also have an adjustment loop in it instead of going straight across and fit in there, be soldered to both sides. Now this appliance has a few things it can do. It can serve as a space maintainer. So let's say that uh, these were deciduous molars that were lost prematurely and we don't have the bicuspids in yet typically that molar would drift mesially, but if you tie the molars together, that inhibits that mesial migration. So it works as a space maintainer. Also, let's say that the doctor has expanded the arch and he wants to take with it like a rapid palatal expansion appliance and he wants to take that out because it's big and bulky, and, but he wants to hold this arch width so he can put a transpalatal arch in there to accomplish that. Another thing they can do is they can use the appliance to actually expand. And I have an orthodontist who uses this design where it's uh, an omega loop that goes into the palate and then he has me put those bend those arms uh, that go mesially to the molar to engage the lingual surfaces of the posterior teeth so that he can expand that omega loop and cause arch expansion. So the thing will maintain space, hold arch width, and it can be used to cause arch expansion. Now I'm going to put this one in here. The way I bend these typically is I will bend it so that it is flat against the tissue. But I will have it so that the wire that's going to be soldered is right at the gingival margin. That way I know that everything's adapted to the tissue and then I, I will pull it up to the middle of the band and that just kind of brings everything off of the tissue. You don't want this thing to be seated right on the tissue because the chances are excellent this appliance is going to settle in and if the wire is on the tissue it's going to bury the wire in the tissue. So if, I like to pull it away a little bit. Not a whole lot but just a little bit. Now when I do this I may have to go in there and take this wire and bend it out like that some because it'll come away from the bands but if I do that little bit of adjustment it usually turns out pretty nicely. And here's one that I have done already and I adapted it to the tissue, pulled it away a little bit, I've waxed it into place and you can see it's got a nice little relief from the tissue so that should, it's not too far away to irritate the tongue and it'll keep it from uh, impinging on the tissue as the appliance settles in. Now all I have to do with this is take this off and prepare these areas for soldering. If you don't know how to solder check out my playlist, I've got a, um, a section just on soldering so you can learn how to do all that there. All right, so here it is, the transpedal arch. It's a space maintainer, it's an arch width holder, and it's an arch developer expander. So thanks for watching, I'll see you next week.